Michaverse.co presents 1 to 144 High Grade Gundam H2 Double Bullet. Hello everyone, this is Car from Michaverse.co doing the review of the 1 to 144 High Grade Gundam H2 Double Bullet, which is so far my favorite wear for the Gundam H2. Uh, on the front of the box, we can see here an impressive looking cover art, which I really like and I probably will cut off and uh, and hang on the wall and then um, on the sides we have uh, the same cover art and some other arts and uh, things written in Japanese along with the um, Wave Rider mode I believe it's called not so sure and a scene for the anime uh, from the anime and um, a picture of what it will be unpainted right out of the box and there you can see it was originally sold for 15, 1500 yen. On the other side, we have some shots of the kit itself, um, assembled and painted by a pro, and it's um, um, mobile uh, wave rider mode. Again, not sure. And the many accessories and the fact that you can store the hands under the action action base. So really nice. And. Uh, that's all for the box. And when you open the box, you get uh, one, two, three bags of plates, and uh, this uh, sheet of paper with some um, some uh, images from the anime, from the Gundam Age anime, and uh, a little uh, ad of uh, Dengeki Hobby with uh, the. Gundam Kestrel um, and uh, finally the instruction manual. Let's start with the plates. A plate is quite colorful. We have uh, the yellow, the white, the blue and the red. Perfect Gundam colors. And we can see here we have the head which so far is really nice and uh, I really like this design and uh, we have the front skirts molded together but I, I see there are the two wall joints so you can separate them and this little fins on the back which I really really like and the really impressive looking chest section and uh, a lot of other oh and the back skirts which I really like I really like the age 2 design <clears throat> then there we have uh, the 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 torso section, the feet, and uh, some pieces for the leg, and some yellow that go will go in the chest and uh, on the skirts and on the neck, and um, I believe this is for the back skirt. Not so sure, but and no B, no C. Let's skip directly to the D plate. Uh, we can see there there are the hands. We have a two open hands, one closed fist but the other closed fist is there no worry and an open dynamic hand which I really like and it's really detailed although you can see that on my shitty camera and uh, the rest is mostly the inner frame of the kit and we have there the I don't know if you can see it but this is actually the um, under chin, how do you call it? It's uh, the part that goes underneath the red chin, which I really think is impressive for a high grade. And then we have this piece that will go, uh, it's um, a new hip joint that is used uh, mm, for the transformation mode. And let's go with the E plate. Um, I thought there was gonna be uh, a lot more red on this kit, but I was mistaken. Actually there were just the feet, the torso, the lower torso, and these little things on the shoulder. I'm um, just a bit disappointed they are uh, a single piece. I was kind of hoping they were separate, but I guess you can't uh, expect that much um, from a high grade. And um, then we have uh, the F plate, where you can find the action base, the two uh, twin uh, rifle, uh, not so sure about their names, gotta check that out, and the other closed fist I told you before. Then we have the G plate, which is gonna provide a lot of white you'll need for the kit. There we have the legs and the shoulders. And these ones are really impressive. 
they are really little, I believe they are thrusters that are gonna go on the legs from what I remember of the review I've seen. And finally they give you two beam sabers, the long flat ones from Gundam Age and a sheet of polycap. And then they give you a small sheet of stickers, they give you the, um, the age symbol that goes obviously on the chest, these two that I believe are gonna go um, on the uh, yellow vents you have on the chest, and the eyes, the camera and these two on the, on the forehead. And I've made the terrible mistake of unfolding this manual before doing the review, so I'm not sure I folded it back correctly. But on the front we have the uh, the same uh, art we have on the front of the box, and it's really nice. The more I see it, the more I love it. And then some other art, and uh, this one, which you can see there, it clearly says its name. And uh, when you open the manual, yeah, as I told you, not sure I folded it back correctly. So, well, let's completely open it up. Uh -huh. <laughs> there we have some shot of the kit painted by a pro, which really looks sharp. And a show off of the accessories and the action poses, pretty unlimited action poses you can pull off with the, its amazing articulation and there are some other art some other characters from Gundam Age we have uh, their wolf in Yahlu and the G-Bouncer and this um, oh my god what was its name? I can't remember Zador no uh, no matter and then we have the, a shot of the H2 normal wear which looks nice but I believe the double bullet looks better and a color guide if you wanna paint uh, the double bullet and there they show you how to put together the action base and uh, they show you how to attach the Gundam to the action base and they show you how to transform it so and then of course on the back we have the yeah, a shot of the plates, things in Japanese I can't read, and the instruction to make your H2 double bullet. So that will end my unbox video for the 1 to 144 scale high grade Gundam H2 double bullet. And uh, I really enjoyed this uh, unbox. There were a lot of parts, uh, a lot of small details like the under chin gray that literally blew me away when I first saw this kit and uh, I think it's gonna be a really really interesting build so um, like and subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you at part 2